Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Dan Landing, the Oregon Ducks land a massive commitment coming out of the transfer portal and former Sam Houston State and UTSA cornerback Cam Alexander commits to the Ducks. And, and this is a commitment that I think largely will fly under the radar because of all the buzz around Evan Stewart visiting Eugene. Cam Alexander is a phenomenal addition to this Oregon secondary room and had offers from a ton of power five schools. And it's kind of easy to see why you go back and watch a little cam Alexander, look at the numbers that he put up in 2023. This is a cornerback that is going to elevate this Oregon secondary room. And I want to talk cam Alexander, what he brings to this Oregon defense. And more importantly, what this cornerback room and secondary room is going to look like for Oregon, not only in 2024, but down the road as well as they've done a phenomenal job stockpiling talent in that secondary room. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys. This has been just an extremely fun last couple of weeks, breaking down all of these commitments and the amount of support you guys have shown the boys, whether we're talking Dylan Gabriel, Kobe Savage, Dante Moore, it means a ton. I love evaluating and kind of talking about roster construction as it has to do with the high school trail and the transfer portal. You guys have shown a ton of support. Cannot thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, you enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel. And let's talk about first Cam Alexander, what he brings to this uh, to this Oregon defense. And we kind of had this conversation earlier today. Like you're having this, most of these Oregon guys who could have gone to the NFL draft come back for the 2024 season. Cause I think most people in that Oregon locker room, I think a lot of Oregon fans feel this way as well, kind of see and know that something special can happen in 2024. And you look at this Oregon team in 2023. I mean, it was right there. The only two losses to the Washington Huskies who are playing for a national championship tonight. And then you look at kind of the, the landscape of the big Ten. I mean, this is a Michigan team that is going to lose most of its starters to the NFL draft. Ohio State is probably the weakest it's been in multiple years. Penn State, obviously, not as much up. You look at this Oregon team moving into the Big Ten, and there's a large possibility that Oregon is the favorites to win this conference in 2024, especially with all the names that they have coming back. There are not many holes in this Oregon roster, and they're just continuing to get guys in the transfer portal that add to that 1%. When you're chasing a national championship, when you're chasing a conference championship, the, the margins are small. And if you can add a guy like Cam Alexander to get this team 1% better, I mean, that's the type of stuff that you need to get done. Now, talking Cam Alexander, in 2023, was absolutely phenomenal. Broke up 15 passes, had two interceptions, was targeted 54 times, and only gave up 26 catches, a 48% completion percentage when Cam Alexander was targeted. And you have a guy that 5'11", 175 pounds, extremely good movement skills and extremely good ability to break on footballs, right? And when he's sitting in zone coverage and he sees that football coming out of the quarterback hand, he is breaking on it, getting his hands on footballs, and is really good at man coverage, mirroring wide receivers, being physical at the line of scrimmage, putting hands on wide receivers, Cam Alexander kind of checks a lot of those boxes and I'm kind of interested to see where he fits in to this Oregon cornerback room where he could 100% be a starter for Oregon, but you take a look at the healthy depth and competition that they're going to have in that back end. I, this is a really appealing get. And again, Oregon had a lot of success in the transfer portal last year at that cornerback position. Obviously Kyrie Jackson coming in being one of the better cornerbacks that we saw in all of 2023, Dan Landing in this defensive staff had had some success evaluating cornerbacks in the transfer portal, getting them into this program, developing them into significant playmakers for Oregon. I think Cam Alexander could be just another name on that list. Now you start to look at this Oregon cornerback room, talking about how it shakes out. Jaleel Florence, I think, has such a bright future going into his third year of college football. Dante Manning, you finally saw like some of why we were so excited for Dante Manning coming out of high school. I think he could be a phenomenal player for Oregon in 2024. Nico Reed from Colorado, the transfer last cycle. That's another guy that is just a, I mean, a lot of these guys might not start for Oregon in 2024, but would start on a lot of other power five programs. And that's not to mention some of the young talent that I'm extremely excited about for Oregon, right? True freshman, Roderick Pleasant, showed a lot of good things and you kind of expect him to be a more consistent contributor 
to this Oregon defense in 2024. And then you have some guys coming in in the 2024 class that I would be very, I wouldn't be surprised, I should say, if they play relatively early, right? If the Obadegu, watching that Under Armour All-American game, he was looked to be one of the best cornerbacks on that football field. Had a pick six, had a couple passes defended. This is a guy that is physically, I think, mature enough and ready to play early. A ton of length to him, a ton of physicality. Not Wouldn't be surprised at the slightest if you start hearing Ify Obadegu's name in fall camp as being a guy that's going to play for Oregon in 2024. Another guy, Dakota Fields. And coming over from St. John Bosco, another guy that, I mean, top 100 national prospect. Oregon's doing a phenomenal job recruiting at the, and that's one of the things that I think it's worth having a conversation for, right? You pull up Oregon and what they're doing in terms of building this roster, Dan Landing, and you see a lot of programs have a lot of success in the transfer portal, and that comes at the expense of the high school class. Oregon's bringing in a top five class in the 2024 class and also bringing in a phenomenal transfer portal class. And so what do you have happen on your depth chart is you got a ton of young talent that will be able to push for starting opportunities and reps early in their career, but you don't need to rely on those guys because you have a guy like Cam Alexander coming in that provides a ton of depth and starting talent at that cornerback spot. The fact that Dan Landing is bringing in what I would think is one of the better transfer portal classes. It's not as big as Ole Miss or Louisville or some of the other names that you'll see at the top of the rankings according to On3 or 24-7 Sports, but every single addition, like we can pull it up, every single addition that you see Oregon make in the transfer portal, these guys are going to be contributors, right? Cam Alexander, Kobe Savage, two guys that I think could start day one for Oregon. Jay Harris comes in and is thought to be the 13th best running back available in the transfer portal, adding a ton of depth to a position that I think is going to be really good in 2024 with Jordan James and Noah Whittington. And you obviously land two of the top quarterbacks in the transfer portal and Dante Moore and in Dylan Gabriel. Oregon is being selective in the transfer portal, but they're getting guys who there's a purpose. They don't need to fill or they don't need to just take random bodies in the transfer portal because they recruit at the high school ranks extremely well. And then Cam Alexander is another kind of example of that where you look at that cornerback room and say, we didn't need to add a cornerback heading into 2024. But you add a guy in to add that competitive depth in, in, in competition in camp. This is a, a group that is going to be really good for Oregon in 2024. Cam Alexander, a massive addition. And again, it might be a little bit uh, flying under the radar, so to speak, because Evan Stewart, and there's a lot of buzz around Evan Stewart potentially coming into Eugene, but this is a very nice addition. You start looking at this Oregon team in 2024 as being a legit contender not only to compete for a Big Ten title, but make the college football playoffs and make some serious noise. I've said it and I'll say it again. I mean, this is a program that if you're buying stock in, uh, you want to buy now because this is a team that's going in the right direction under Dan Lanning, another massive addition for the Oregon Ducks. Wanted to hop on again, talk about Cam Alexander, a guy that I think adds a ton of juice to that cornerback room. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.